Hi, this is Charlene here with AVID's two and three column notes for um, third through eighth grade. So first of all, we're gonna do a brief overview of two column notes and why they should be used in your classrooms. So when we uh, have students complete two column notes, typically the teacher will provide or support with the main ideas and have those class discussion about the big things, um, whether it's history, science, social studies, English language arts. So if I was writing an argumentative article, we could go ahead and talk about what arguments are, what makes a good argument. And so my big idea would be an argument here or a counter argument. And then we would write details as we read uh, a sample text and extract information. Um, this can also be done with science and social studies. So if I was reading uh, my social studies book, or we would probably write down um, the topics and then we would go ahead and list those here. And then we would write important details about those topics within uh, history or science or social studies. Um, here's an example of a two column note that was created uh, for mathematics, and this is focusing on equivalent fractions, something we might see in fifth or sixth grade. Um, and then here is um, what our objective is. These are the diagrams. Uh, this is how the uh, sample problem that we are asked, being asked to solve. And then uh, here's a template that we're creating, which you can do a fraction bar, or you can easily do a tape diagram or something of that sort to solve for it. So here you can see how this helps the student go ahead and identify the strategy, the sample, or the, the model, the sample, and the steps they use to solve the problem. This is a sample Eureka Math page, and you can see that it has lots of room for students to just take notes right on the page. As teachers, we frequently want them to take out their notebook and start writing notes inside of a notebook. But now that we have a lot of consumables for, e, um, for ELA, for science, and for math, students can actually turn that consumable right into their two or three column notes. So if this is a sample for two column notes, we can just ask the students to fold the paper in half or to draw a line. And we would have them go ahead and write topics. So on the left-hand side was where they would solve the problem and identify their solution. And on the right-hand side is a diagram that they will be used using to extract information. And so if I was a, a sixth grade teacher, I would say, you know, angle ABC is 90 degrees and angle ABD is 57 degrees. What is the uh, degrees for X? So that they could figure out that angle. And then uh, they would go ahead and start to solve this information. And then they would identify what steps they used to solve it. So what were the steps that they used to solve uh, for this uh, right triangle? And again, here's another um, Eureka Math page. And uh, I provided them with an EQ. How can the Pythagorean theorem be used to calculate the length of sides uh, in a two-dimensional right triangle? So that is what we are asking them to do. That is a standard. So we just made that into the essential question. And then we allow students to solve the problems and identify patterns or generalizations that they can add to their notes. So we quickly just had them fold the paper in half and they have this little area here for notes creating column one and column two. In column one is the exercise with the examples. And then we would probably solve uh, number one, sample A, whole group. Um, teacher could do an, an I do and show them how to solve for all the different portions of this triangle. And then um, we can do it as a whole class for sample B. And then moving into the gradual release of responsibility, having students solve number two, sample A, with uh, a partner and then number uh, two sample B, they could do independently. And then after they do this, they can then start making generalizations on the Pythagorean theorem and the Pythagorean triples in their notes. If we run out of room and we're using a consumable, a great way to add extra space is by using a post-it note. So we can have students summarize their learning or summarize their understanding of the Pythagorean theorem using a, using a post-it note to summarize. And we can have them reflect on their learning um, by adding a different post-it note so that they can say, oh, I would use this when I'm studying for my test or I'm gonna use this information in order to have a better, deeper understanding for geometry. 
So we're gonna go right ahead to the next slide. And um, we wanna make sure that all of our students are applying their notes and their learning to something that is more rigorous. So the notes are a tool to apply to something more rigorous. So we really want students to understand that thinking so that they could then show what they know on a test, on a project, on um, an end of the module assessment. Now we're going to move into three column notes, and these are ways that students, uh, teachers can organize three column notes. Three column notes are great for things like vocabulary. So in the event that I'm using this for vocabulary, I would use column one for the main ideas, which would be the vocabulary words, column two, two for the details, which would be the definitions, and column three for the student's visual or pictorial representation or a synonym or something that makes sense to that student because they're making the personal connection so that they could recall the information later. Um, you know, it could be used as any concept. They could provide a rule and talk about a step-by-step -step explanation on how that rule was extracted, um, a word problem, and then a formula, and then the steps in how they solve that word problem, an equation with a picture, and again, the steps on how to solve for that equation, or an equation with solutions, and then the steps how they solve for those solutions. So here are some ideas. So you can do topic, definition, connection. You could do for math, read, draw, write, or read, draw, solve. You can do word form, number form, and pictorial representation. So those are, are four different ways that you can uh, use three column notes. So here's um, a opening exercise. We're gonna use three column notes today and we're barely introducing these vocabulary words from Eureka Math, and we're using the words acute, uh, obtuse, right, and straight. So we would have the students fold their paper in with two folds, creating three columns. Uh, they would draw the line. They would say that, okay, these are our vocabulary words we're gonna focus on for this module. The, this is where I'm gonna write my definitions, and this is where I'm gonna provide my examples. So um, we would have the students go ahead and come up with a collaborative EQ, or I can provide an EQ to them. Um, how can angles be defined and represented? And then we would have them um, go ahead and work on this either with their groups or with their table partners or whole class. So if we're working on this whole class, we would be talking about acute and we would be providing a class definition, but then students would then provide an example. And then the same thing, we would follow that routine for all the other vocabulary words. So this is a three column format. We would read the important information, extract the important information, figure out what they want us to solve for. We would draw a picture in the middle column. We would know that it has nine parts because the denominator is nine. We would know that Elena painted five ninths and Matthew painted three ninths. So together, Elena and Matthew painted eight ninths. And how much is left over uh, is the portion that Kevin painted. So Kevin painted one ninth. And then the students could then list the steps that they used in order to solve this problem in that third column. So again, this is the student connection and the student's thoughts and how they solve the problem, even if we did the first two columns whole class. Here's an additional one for area and perimeter in mathematics. Um, here's the word problem that was provided. And then um, we, students could then write what they know about perimeter, write what they know about area, draw a model, and then talk about the formulas for area and perimeter, and then use this information to solve and explain their solutions in the third column. And this is a great scaffold for that constructed response in mathematics. Here's a sample that a teacher can do under a document camera, quickly just folding your paper, drawing two lines, and talking about the read, draw, write model. Um, taking that information straight from Eureka, drawing the diagrams, and then writing statements on how they were solved and the solutions. So it's a great way for students to organize their thoughts. Once they have enough practice, they can begin to use this independently um, with uh, their own information as they're doing math homework or hopefully when they're completing the state exam. So this is a great tool for students to use as a lifelong strategy. This is Charlene with AVID two and three column notes for upper grade. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for another video.
Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.